Hey guys, it's Alice again. So welcome to my fifth, that's ten, fifth and final DIY video of this week. I hope you've enjoyed the series. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you click that little red subscribe button so that you're informed of every time I upload. I upload twice a week on a regular week and I am definitely going to do another weekly series so you don't want to miss out. I have really really enjoyed making all of these and I hope you guys have enjoyed coming along with me and making these and seeing how it all turned out. I think it went pretty pretty well so I'm not going to jinx myself. I have one more pair of DIYs to make and these ones I am extremely excited about. I feel like I might have saved the best to last so I hope you're going to enjoy this one and yeah let's just get into it. For this DIY you will need some MDF some sandpaper so you can sand down any rough edges, a paintbrush, some nails, paint of your choice, a hammer, some wool and a pencil. So first of all what I did, I sanded down my MDF because it was kind of rough on the edges. My piece of MDF is about 32 centimetres square. You can really do any kind of shape, just if you do it a little bit bigger you'll obviously need a few more nails. So after sanding it down I just painted it and I ended up painting it a gorgeous off-white kind of colour. I didn't really want a bright white because I think it would just be a bit too much against the wall. So I chose this off-white colour and I really really like how it turned out. I didn't bother painting the back because I'm probably just going to put a hook of it, hook of it? I'm probably just going to put a hook on it and hang it somewhere or stand it somewhere. So I'm sure that will be all right and what i wanted to do was do a love heart shape you can do any kind of shape you want as long as it's a nice simple outline i guess you thread the wool through you guys will see what i mean i glued two pieces of a4 paper together and freehanded this love heart and i'm just going to stick it down with a little bit of pva glue i'm going to try my very best to place this in the middle i could measure it but i'm just going to be awkward and not measure it whilst that glue gets a little bit tacky and stops sliding around i'm going to go on to the next diy for this DIY you will need some canvases, copper spray paint and a sharpie. And there's a little bit of a backstory behind these canvases because I ordered them online and did the stupid thing of not actually measuring how big they would be and when they arrived they were tiny. So what I did, I spray painted them copper because copper spray paint, who doesn't love copper spray paint? And I've decided I'm going to do four and I'm going to make these ones say love and then the other ones I'm just going to kind of doodle on and hope it looks okay. I wonder if I can draw in pencil. Do you know what? I'm just going to go straight for it. I'm feeling confident slash stupid. I suppose you could also use paint for this, but I decided that Sharpies were so much easier. Oh, I don't know how I feel about these. I feel like these look really cheap and gross. You know what? They don't look... Oh, they don't look too bad. I feel like from a distance I could get away with these. They look okay. I'm going to... I'm gonna power through. I saw a really cool design on Pinterest where it was like arrows. So I might take two. I don't know, I'm just gonna go for it. I've winged a lot of these DIYs. So I'm gonna wing this last few because why not? It's ever so slightly wonky, but that looks reasonable. Hey, there we go. That looks, that looks okay. I could get away with that. I could, I'd be reasonably happy to put that in my room. I might draw some like flying birds for this one. Oh, it looks like a bat. Okay, no, I can't, I can't, I can't continue to do that. Look at that. What the hell is that? No way, that's going. I'm just going to do an A. Yay, I have an A. A. Overall, I am pretty I'm pretty happy with these. I'm going to go over these two at a later date, but they look okay, right? Now back to my canvas one. So the glue has kind of dried and I have here my hammer and my nails. I don't think I'm mentally prepared for hammering, hammering this. What I am slightly concerned about is that I didn't check how long the nails were. I don't want them to go through the wood. I need some kind of method of checking that they're not too deep. Hey. I'm gonna use my camera battery because what else? I reckon by the end of this, I'm gonna be a pro nail hammerer. <laughs> hammerer. Oh, the builder. Can we fix it? Oh, the builder. Yes, we 
Lofty and Wendy join the crew Bob and the gang have so much fun Working together to get the job done Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we go! Pizza break! Okay, that took a long time and I have black fingers. Who knew that nails were so dirty? So I need to wipe the edges of my board. That's something that Pinterest didn't tell me. I'm gonna try and get this out. That peeled off really nicely. So there is my love heart of nails. I am very happy with how they've turned out. A lot of them are wonky, but we're not trying to be perfect here. Cause I'd be rubbish. And now I have my wool and I'm going to thread it on my board. The wool I picked up is different colours so hopefully this picks up in the thing. I'm going to start it by tying a knot and I'm going to chop this and loop it on there. So that's how I've started it. <laughs> I'm very scared of letting go of this completely and it all untangling and everything going wrong. Oh, oh, shit. No, shit. Oh, I really like this. I love that. How cute. So I've threaded it round and I'm going to tie it off on the one I started with, I think. I'm going to try and tie this in a knot. Yay, okay. Chop the end. Hope for the best. Don't accidentally chop the other bits. And I've done it! I love this! How cute is that? And I love that it's all different colours. So definitely recommend getting different coloured wool because that looks so cool. But I think that is done and I really, really like that. Yay! So that's it for my last DIY of the week. I really, really hope you enjoyed this. I've enjoyed making these DIYs so, so much. If you want to see another series of DIYs like this or just a series of videos in general, give this video a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it and I'll be sure to make another one. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already because I do upload regular content twice a week on this channel and once a week on my main channel. I can't believe how good this turned out. Thank you so much for watching as always. I love you a lot and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. The nicest part of the Lincoln map. So I want the uni and the cathedral in it for sure. So I think just about there is a good